Good morning, hello, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is blessed and having a great day. Uh, today it's early in the morning right now. Um, I'm on my way to the gym, I am actually here. And I had something that I wanted to share with you guys this morning. Uh, first of all, please like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate that. Um, it's a blessing being able to serve you guys and just to be able to give you information that could be helpful. Also, leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know how you're liking the videos. If you have anything you want me to do a video on, um, I'll do a video on that. But moving forward one of the number one things i feel like people get denied for credit is they don't know how to fill out a credit application or they don't know how to fill it out correctly and sometimes if you're filling it out online or if you go to a banking institution or a financial institution i'm gonna say if you don't know then don't guess um, find out what you need to know co the correct information and then proceed to fill out the information because one false or one wrong um, thing that you fill out that's incorrect could cost you a denial and could cost you um, you can leave money on the table and that's something we don't want to do but some of the things that they ask you for when you're filling out uh, a credit uh, credit application is they're going to ask you for your personal information you know your name address they're going to ask you that stuff email address and then they're going to ask you for your social security number um, if you're filling out a business application they'll ask you for your EIN number your articles of organization they're going to ask you for uh, some proof that that business your is uh in good standings then they're going to ask you for your employment your employment information make sure you have the correct employment information then they're going to ask your your income details now to me this is that that reason right there where people get make you get it wrong or leave some money on the table if you put like a less amount, 20, 30,000 or something. Don't be expecting to get a large credit limit because your debt versus income ratio was gonna be uh, low. They're gonna be like, well, we can't give this person a $25,000, $30,000 credit card if he only making 40,000 a year and his rent is a thousand a year. So you gotta make it make sense. Okay, you gotta really make it make sense on that income part. Just to me, that's a really, really, really big part. Then you don't wanna put too much either because now, nowadays they're asking for documentation. Um, living in this daytime and age, banks are starting to ask for more docs now where um, a few years ago they wouldn't have or a year ago they wouldn't have. So, and if you can't prove or provide that information, it could cause you from being approved that's a really really big one but if you're filling out the business application you can do your stated income you can give them um, your projected income what you feel that your business is gonna make then they will ask you for your uh, housing information are you renting are you leasing you know you fill that out then some banks might ask for your uh, financial accounts you know, depending on that, a lot of banks won't, some won't, then they might ask for credit references. And that's information about uh, credit cards. Do you have any other credit cards or loans? But they'll be able to see that once they pull your credit. Now, not all ask for this, but this is just basic information. Then they'll ask for the purpose of, of the credit. Why do you need this loan? Or, um, you know, as it for a rehab, you're trying to refix up a house, you're trying to invest in something. So be careful and pay attention to what you and how you filling these out. And then, you know, you read the terms and conditions of the loan. Make sure you read the terms and conditions of the loan and understand it before you um, confirm or before you accept it. Know the interest rates, know um, 
just know the terms and just know what you're getting into. It's just wise. Then you sign and date it. Then sometimes you'll get an instant approval. And then sometimes, you know, it may go to underwriting. You might have to wait a couple days. But that's why I always say relationship banking is great. If you go into a bank and speak with a banking manager or a experienced bank rep, sometimes they could get on the phone and they can have that application pushed through and you could get uh, a response or approval or denial within um, some minutes. But sometimes it may take two, three days. And in most instances, sometimes if they take a few days, that means they want some documentation. But if you have the documentation, you have nothing to worry about. So that that shouldn't be a problem at all. But if you lied on your application, that could cause an automatic denial. Or I would say too, if you don't have that income to support that income part, if you put more than you actually make on the personal side, I would say go ahead and give them the uh, what you do have because they might just give you a lower amount instead of uh, denial. So that's something that you could look into as well. But I just say, you know, be um, honest. Just be honest, you know. Uh, and a lot of us, most of us, we like to go for those loans and the credit cards. There's no doc documentation which me i do too <laughs> that's what i love the no doc but as you get into more funding and wanting more money you're gonna have to provide more documentation you're gonna have to provide documentation but there's always a strategic way you know where you could get one thousand from one bank you know you could go to four banks and get twenty five thousand no docs which equal up to a thousand but just think if you could go to four banks and get a hundred thousand so but it's good to start up so like i said know how to fill out the application if you get stuck or you don't know something you know if you're filling it out online just wait bag out come back find out the information come back we fill it out or if you're unsure about something speak with the banker don't just put anything down but in most instances, when you're dealing with a relationship banker, they'll help you fill out the application. So don't be ignorant and just know what you're doing before you do it. Knowing is half the battle. I appreciate you guys. Also, join my free school group, school.com, S-K-O-O-L. Look for Raw Game, R-A-W-G-A-M-E. You guys have a wonderful, fantastic day full of blessings, and I'll see you on the next video.